So this is what we would call a Wheatstone Bridge circuit. Okay, so it's got uh, a source of power, V, uh, four resistors, R sub 1, R sub 2, R sub 3, R sub 4. Uh, I'm going to do an example here where the battery is a 9 volt battery, so that's V. Resistance number 1, 1000 ohms. Resistor 2, 2000 ohms. Resistor 3, 200 ohms. Resistor 4, 1000 ohms. I want to calculate uh, the voltage across G, G for galvanometer. Okay, so I'm going to calculate the voltage between these two nodes. So with the formula that I'm going to use for that, this formula, V times R sub 4 over R sub 2 plus R sub 4 minus R sub 3 over R sub 1 plus R sub 3. Uh, stick those numbers in. Stick these numbers into the formula. So you'll have something that looks like this. Upon further simplification, you'll have this, the quantity in brackets becomes 0.16 with a 6 repeats. So I predict 1.5 volts, uh, the V sub G part, 1.5 volts. So now I want to do this experiment in real life. Uh, this is called a breadboard. I built a Wheatstone bridge on this breadboard. Okay, so let me show it to you in this direction. Okay, so. Uh, I have four resistors here, as you can see. Resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, resistor 4. I've got a 9-volt battery. Plug in the 9-volt battery. Okay, so the battery, the battery is plugged in. Okay, so what I want to measure is a voltage drop between these two nodes. Okay, I'm going to use a multimeter for that. A multimeter. Okay, so this is my multimeter. Turn it on. I want to measure voltage. Okay, so I'm going to hold the leads across the two nodes that I'm interested in. What does it say on the screen? 1.5? Is that what I predicted? 1.5? So there you have it. 